Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Flame Leone 2300 here and today we're going to be unboxing the next batch of goodies that we have here. Uh, as you guys remember when we did the random booster uh, volume 23, there was other stuff that I also did order uh, with the package too as well. Uh, for today, we're actually going to be looking at Crash Ragnarok. Now this is the prize bay in random booster volume 10. So can you believe we're already on 23 and now we're going to 10 for this one. Uh, we'll talk about going backwards, right? But yeah, um, this was on Everwish for like $10. So this wasn't actually bad to get the prize bay for $10. It's pretty good. I mean, I know, you know, since this is already like a bay that's been like in the what? The third series of Beyblade Burst uh, for Turbo and I forgot what you call it. God. No, I think God is evolution. But um, yeah, uh, for this one, you know, it's pretty cool that we're able to get it just for $10, the prize bay. So that's awesome. I mean, I already have the Crash Ragnarok attack wheel from um, the Chosey set when it comes with uh, Spriggan. But yeah, we get to finally have the full thing here. Uh, as you guys can see, this is how the Beyblade looks. You've probably seen it by now since this is an old Beyblade. Uh, and then you also have the other base here too as well. The ones that we're not getting. Uh, I would say like if we were to get the whole uh, random booster set itself... I would say these two right here are probably the ones worth actually getting because look at that gold, like that gold uh, sprig in here. I uh, forgot what you call this sprig in again, but it's really nice. Really, it's not spring of Requiem, I know that for, for sure. It's the second, it's the first one in that in that line. Um, but yeah, uh, it looks very nice too. And then you also have like the spring of Requiem up here, the blue one, that looks pretty sick. But yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, Crash Ragnarok is the bay I really care about because this is the prize bay. All right, you can also see like the parts and stuff for the other base as well on the side. As you see here, this is Crash Ragnarok right here. Uh, it's Crash Ragnarok 11 Reach with a wedge, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's a wedge. And this is actually my first time getting a wedge part, so that is good. So I am definitely happy for that. But yeah, and then you also can look at the top here, right? Forgot his name again. I don't think it's Renjaro. I think it's the other one. But uh, as you guys can see up here, it shows you like basically the gimmick of like how those things like pop out a little bit when it attacks and stuff. Uh, giving it that like Stanima kind of balance type uh, gimmick to it. Which is fine. But yeah, that's basically much it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take this out of the box for you guys. I'm going to have, uh, we're going to look at it with all the stickers and stuff already on it. So let's get that started. Alrighty guys, so we managed to get all the stickers on and the parts out of the box here. Uh, so let's actually first take a, uh, take a look at the first part, which is the attack ring, which is Crash Ragnarok. Uh, personally, this was actually pretty easy putting on the stickers. There's only four stickers here. So that's awesome. Uh, basically, as you guys can see here, this is like the head up here. Kind of like fire, I would say, spitting out its mouth or something like that. I don't know what that is. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. As you guys can see, I actually do love the color and like the whole design of it. It's very nice. Uh, if you guys take a look at the side here, right, this is kind of where like the uh, middle blades kind of pop out when it's spinning and kind of the base like could uh, put the, push this in and like hit this piece here or either hit the middle uh, the metal blade here, which is actually pretty nice. As you can see, looks pretty darn cool. So it's good that we have like the actual color now. Uh, again, like I really don't care for much of actual colors uh, rather getting stock combo, but this was only for like $10 So it's actually pretty great to actually get the prize bay uh, Next piece we have is the frame which is reach now. This was uh, the new part uh, during this time uh, When this bay actually came out, but now you can actually get this piece for like uh, any other uh, Bay I actually do have a bay from a random booster that does have this uh, piece too as well so yeah We'll probably even show it off later on too uh, to have this battle next we have the weight which is 11 uh, nothing anything too special you can also get 11 with a lot of bays now um, even uh, Achilles when it came out for the turbo series uh, but yeah nothing went too much it is also uh, three stars by the way sadly we didn't get four stars here it's three stars and the last one uh, the driver which is wedge now again, this is my first time having a wedge piece, so that is awesome. I know the Hasbro one is kind of weird because it has metal, but then in the middle it's like plastic, which is honestly very weird, but this one is fully metal, so that is awesome that we get to have a wedge for the first time here. And then if we put all the pieces together here, which we're going to do, see, 
put the uh, frame on the weight, put this piece here, put it together, right? That is Crash Ragnarok for you. Now, another thing too, uh, the teeth for this are actually very garbage. As you guys can see, like, I'm not even giving any effort of turning the driver and it's already clicking, All right? So that's like, not okay, you guys can see. I feel like if I can do like this, like just one tap, right? Hitting the uh, piece here, I feel like it's gonna come off easily. But yeah, it's not really that great uh, for battle combos anymore. But anyway, without further ado, let's actually give it a test run. We'll do it in the stadium here. Three, two, one, go. And that's Crash Ragnarok. Look at that. It's gonna be weird because it was just being off balance and all unstable a little bit. And now it's just perfectly fine. Uh, just moving in the stadium like that. Pretty darn cool if you ask me. All right, so let's actually do some test battles. We'll do it in this stadium, and then we'll probably do the Dash Stadium too as well. I'm gonna have it go against some of the bays from the Random Booster uh, Volume 23, as well as this bay, because this is the one that actually does have reach. I actually do love this brick in here. Looks very nice. So let's actually have it go against it first. See how it does. Right aim, three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. I'm very interested to see how this Crash Ragnarok is gonna play out. Ooh, and a burst from Crash Ragnarok. Look at that. As I said, Red Crash Ragnarok, uh, Crash Ragnarok does not have the best heave, so you're going to expect a burst, guaranteed. All right, and Spriggan didn't even have no clicks at all. That was crazy, just did a strong attack. Nobody has to mess with Spriggan. Nobody messes with Spriggan there. All right, let's try to uh, have it go against the Pegasus from the Random Booster. See what happens here. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. So garbage teeth versus garbage teeth. Let's see who is gonna prevail here. Ooh, and a double burst. Okay. My goodness gracious, guys. That was crazy. <laughs> what what can you expect from two bays that don't really have great teeth? They're going to both burst simultaneously at the same time. All right, let's let's see. Let's have it go against the Archer Herculeo one now. So this nice uh, purple one, purple and blue, I would say. All right, let's give it a shot. Ready, three, two, one, go. Go. But uh, Crash Rock Rock right now is just in the center, just holding it still, not really moving, which that's basically what you want it to do. So what's going to happen? Let's see. Let's see. All right. It managed to win just by a little bit. That was very close. Very close right there. All right. Let's try uh, the next one, which is going to be uh, the almighty... Phoenix over here, the one that gave me the hardest time the last time for some odd reason. All right, three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Ooh, and Crash Ragnarok uh, remains champion right there. Remains to take the win. Nice. Okay. Not sure how many clicks it got. It got like, I think, one or two clicks, I would say. Yeah, I got one click right there. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. All right. Let's see if there's a difference in the uh, dash thing now. I'm going to do like rapid battles real quick. I just have a battle two bays. Uh, the one that I actually did pretty well against. Let's have it go against Pegasus one more time. Whoa, you're not an attack type, Crash Ragnarok. Slow down. Pegasus, you too. You're not an attack type. Slow down. The power of the dash stadium, I'm telling you. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna take the win. And oh wow, Pegasus actually won that one. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see if it can win against the Spriggan one again. Uh, hopefully, let's see if it can actually win against it. If I can get Spriggan on his launcher. Attack. I feel I feel a burst incoming. 
Come on, I want to see a burst, 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 burst. I'm sorry, I don't really use this Spriggan a lot, but it is pretty dope of a color scheme. I got it a long time ago. I'll say like a year and a half or two years ago. But it is a very cool color scheme, honestly. Oh, and Crash Ragnarok takes the win. Okay. Let's see. We might have time to do all the battles. Okay. Let's do Archer Hercules. Oh, that was a cheap shot right there. I kind of just knocked it into uh, Crash Ragnarok. Let's try it one more time. Off this. All right. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Let's see, last time Crash Ragnarok did take this one by a little bit. Let's see if it can do it again. Alright, there it goes, one for one. And no, Archer Hercules actually takes it this time. Alright, nice. Alright, last one, we'll do the Phoenix one. Ready. Let's treat, give it a shot, guys. Hopefully Phoenix does not mess up at all. If you didn't know, watch the last video. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Go shoot. I'm somewhat in the battle. Oh, look at Phoenix just on its slant right now. I'll tell you, that height for Phoenix is just awful. I don't know what they were thinking with giving Phoenix these parts. I'm probably just going to give it the driver from um, Revive Phoenix. I do have an extra one. And Phoenix somehow manages to win. Wow, okay. That was uh, something. But uh, there you go, guys. You saw how the performance for Crash Ragnarok was and how it looks. Honestly, I do dig this bay, but it's personally not the best, uh, as you guys can see. Doesn't really do well. Uh, but yeah, for $10 to get, a uh, to get the prize bay, definitely worth it. But yeah, anyway, this is Flame Leone 2300. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow me on Instagram or join my Discord server, the links are down below for you guys. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Take it easy, everyone.